Welcome to Enhancing Those Doom series. I am making this as a response to your responses on my Doom in Doom video. In this series, I will be adding new features to the original DOS Doom and hopefully explaining the process behind it. The idea is to use a code execution exploit, so at no point I will modify exe file. Now, before we start, I want to show you some basic Doom concepts. I am sure many of you already know a lot of this. This is a WAT file. This is basically an archive without any compression and it's where Doom stores all the data. Maps and mods are also distributed in WAT files. Anyway, to the first entry. Doom uses 256 and only 256 colors at the same time. This is the color palette. If you change any color, every instance of this index will change in the game. This is a color map. It's used for shading. Because you have only 256 colors available, you can't just darken everything. This table allows fast recoloring to the closest darker color. And this is how different shades look like. Also, you get a fancy effects for free. Of course, these shades are applied gradually in the game. This creates a depth fog effect. Let's take a look at Doom maps. Map geometry is always drawn in two dimensions, like floor plans. I have just created a simple room with a player start in it. And this is how it looks like in the game, very basic. Of course you can change textures to give it a different look. These basic shapes are called sectors and are composed of several lines. I can draw another sector and this editor will automatically connect it to the first one. There, I have a corridor, almost. Each sector can have different floor and ceiling height. That makes it look more like a corridor. Though there is a missing texture, you can see ceiling bleeding over. Most Doom editors have 3D mode, it makes mapping much easier. Now this is a corridor. Yes, this is how Doom Engine draws the map. Walls are drawn as vertical columns, so wall textures are stored in memory in columns as well. Floors are drawn as a horizontal lines, but texture mapping is not sequential. Thus, floor textures are stored as a raw data of pixels, always 64 by 64. This is why you can't mix wall and floor textures. Now, there's also a depth shading. Everything in distance is darker. It is that color map trick I have mentioned before. I made every texture white, so you only see shading. Empty maps won't work in Doom, so you have a selection of predefined thing types you can place in the map. These thing types are hardcoded in exe file. You can only replace graphics and sound with your custom map, you can't change behavior. If you want doors, you have to split this corridor to multiple sectors and play with textures a bit. Well, just creating something that looks like a door won't make it work like a door. Doom has a limited selection of actions that you can assign to lines. These actions have predefined activation. That is, if you have to use it or walk over it. This action will make it work as a local door. Now let's make a remote door. I have to add a switch to the wall first. Most actions are remote. This will open remote door, though I have a bad ID, so it will try to open everything as a door. You have to assign a number of your choice to this line and the same number to the sector that will be opening. Now you can see a correct connection. Now I have added active things to show you last important stuff. These things have their behavior hardcoded in exe file, but that didn't stop people from modifying it anyway. Introducing dehect, uh, dehect add. This tool allows you to modify basic behavior of things, but it doesn't add new code. 
it can only rearrange stuff in various tables. These are, for example, properties of imp. You can see and change animations. Check out my Doom in Doom video where I explain animation states. Nowadays I can modify the code directly. This is explosive barrel. I can change its death state to something else. And this happens. This is imp. I will remove its range attack state and change its melee state to barrel explosion. Yeah, that is what people were doing back then. This explosion hurts the imp too, so you won't even see barrel animation. Of course, right people can make very cool modifications. This is Ray Mohawk 2, it has new weapons and enemies. This is all achieved without modifying any code, just table changes. This is Rowdy Rowdy 2, it also has new weapons and enemies. Definitely check out links in the description for these cool mods. And yes, we will be running those in DOS without EXE modifications. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this and are ready for much more complex changes that are possible thanks to code execution and injection.